did everything. Hey guys, in this episode of Ask a Dev, we're going to be talking about a couple things you can do to your LinkedIn to showcase that you're learning how to code. This is really for those junior developers, people trying to become junior developers rather. It can be a little intimidating having a LinkedIn page and all you have on there is like Domino's, Subway, like jobs that aren't related at all to what you're doing. And I want to show you some of the things I put on my resume before I got my current job as a, as a web engineer. And just kind of uh, give you some feedback based off of what I've been told by recruiters, what I've been told by people who I've been working with uh, who ended up getting me the job and, you know, saw my LinkedIn, clicked on a few things, asked me questions, was like, all right, cool. Um, so the first and foremost, if you don't have a LinkedIn, you are shooting yourself in the foot, make a LinkedIn. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have nothing relevant to put on it. We're going to talk about some of the things that you can go to get something relevant on it. Now, the first thing that you should do is have a picture. A picture just kind of showcases that you're a real person, that you exist, that it'll be, there's studies that show having a picture really help you. If you're, if you're really uncomfortable with it, get comfortable. That's my advice. You're, you're a professional and this is a professional networking um, site and that's kind of the point of LinkedIn. Now, if you don't take advantage of your introduction, you're really doing yourself a disservice. I have a very detailed introduction here talking about what I'm working on, what I'm learning, really pushing forward that, hey, I'm trying to advance as a developer. These are the technologies I'm learning. And in my resume section, you'll see what technologies I know and I'm, I've been working in. And one of the things that really got me uh, a lot of help was the fact that I put a video my videos here in in the past these were jQuery tutorials going over like the open weather API and things of that nature I also have a little code.org uh, participation so that showcases that hey I can code because I have these tutorials which ended up helping me get a job my coworker who ended up moving me along the ladder moved me along the ladder because he watched uh, two or three of my videos from it, he saw, hey, I think I can work with this guy, and he seems to, be know, to know what he's doing, and then my, it moved up the ladder, and I ended up getting my job. And it's, it's a little more complicated than that, but at the same time, not really. When they're looking to hire a junior developer, what they're looking to hire is someone who's eager, someone who's learning, and someone who's trying to, who, who they think they can work with. They, they, and that's one of the things I think you should really do is make a video portfolio or video introduction, if you will, and put it in your introduction here. So instead of maybe look, you know, this Wikipedia API project, what you could do is have a video there just on your YouTube channel. You know, it's all free. Record it and talk about yourself. Talk about um, what technologies you know, what technology, what technologies you're comfortable with, I should say, and what what projects you have, what hackathons you've gone to, what you've been learning, what tools you've been using to learn. And really introduce yourself and show that you're, you know, that you're part of the coding community, active, and kind of give them an introduction to you because they're going to be hiring you based off yes, your skills, but also how does this guy communicate? Do I think I can work with him or her? And those sort of more personal things. Is he eager? Is he learning? So really take advantage of that in your introduction section. So if you have nothing at all, at the very least, right here, you can put a video introducing yourself, your experience with code, and if you you know, a month later, update that video if you have more relevant things to put in there. I, I highly encourage doing that. It'll take you maybe 30 minutes to kind of just free flow talk. Maybe you have some, some things to show if you want to get fancy with it. The next thing is, if you have any relevant experience, obviously put this on here. But you can see right here, um, I took a job right here that, at a software company where I was uh, working at make, making uh, videos and things of that nature, not touching code at all. Uh, closest I got was wireframing. But uh, when you come to these jobs, if you can, get a letter of recommendation. So right here, I have a letter of recommendation. I have letters of recommendation for every job I have, pretty much. Uh, this was as a web design intern. Uh, you know, these are, but say you don't have any of this, right? No problem. Uh, what you want, we'll see, see more positions. You'll see I have letters of recommendation as a delivery driver at Domino's right here. So I literally encourage you to put, and obviously fill out all your information. Um, it's better to have all your jobs on there because that's what LinkedIn is for. It's your entire job history. So obviously your more relevant stuff's gonna, or your more recent stuff's gonna be more relevant. But in these past jobs, have letters of recommendation and put them right on there. And if you have any media uh, that's related to it, put that on there as well. Now let's keep going down. Education. So let's talk about this free code camp section right here. 
This is a free certificate. Granted, you have to put a lot of time and work into it, but with this a free certificate, there's going to be some skepticism, and it's really your job to sell them on this certificate. At least make it a good talking point when you're talking to a recruiter. What you see here in my example, not only do I have the actual certificate up here, I also have a very detailed description of what it covered. It's an estimated 500 hours of coursework, includes HTML5, CSS, JavaScript, and jQuery, 10 basic, intermediate, and advanced projects. So you have 10 projects, uh, 16 algorithms, 21 in intermediate, and five advanced. Um, and I, I put a little sentence here about going on my YouTube, going in, in depth about these. This is really how you need to sell your certificate section to showcase what an accomplishment it really is because they've never heard of free code camp and all the all the work that goes into it it's up to you to sell it and same thing if you went to a coding boot camp this is this a uh, uh, you know a traditional coding boot camp this is also the place where you need to sell it as well now if you have volunteer experience this is another section that you can fill out and you're saying well dylan i don't you know i haven't completed um the i haven't completed free code camp i haven't gone to a boot camp so i don't have anything relevant for there fine Volunteer experience. You can always volunteer through code.org. I have my, uh, you saw my certificate before. I also have it up on the wall right there because uh, I think it's important to kind of showcase that you're uh, that you're supporting the community. Here's another example of me showcasing that I volunteered with code.org. You can sign up today at any skill level and have some, and volunteer or have people reach out to you to go and and teach uh, kids code, talk about code, get them interested in technology, just be an active member of site. This looks great, and this is something that's completely free. It just takes a little bit of your time and energy, but it's great to put on your uh, LinkedIn. And if you have anything else, in this example, I have a couple other things where if you're in college right now and you're like, how can I build up my resume or at least my volunteer and associ associations, join ACM. Almost every computer science program will have the Association of Computer Machinery uh, club go ahead and join that or any additional uh, organizations such as honor society.org is a honor society that's for that is traditionally for honor students but they've opened it up for everybody you get tons of resources and you become a member it kind of showcases that you're trying to go that extra level that's a that's another example of something you could do on there as well now um you obviously you want to put your featured skills and endorsements and I'm actually going to go through here and remove ones that aren't related to code because most of the time people just kind of thumbs up your top ones and call it a day. I'm going to go through here, remove all my uh, code, my non-coding related ones because I want people to thumb up my JavaScript. I want people to thumb up my Angular JS. Now, does this really have a big impact? No, it's but these are all the little things that you really need to do to have a strong um, LinkedIn, especially when you're just getting started and you're new and that some of these smaller things may not may not come to you so courses if you have any coursework make sure you put it in here i have all my college coursework um covering uh programming physics calculus things that are related to the field right all my cs courses now certifications this is another section where you can really blow up your resume a little bit to show that hey i'm hungry hey i'm learning yeah you know it's just a single solo learn course but you can see that this is what i'm spending my time doing you know, December 26, 2016, uh, tw January 2017, a steady progression, February 2017, of me doing PHP, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, jQuery. This is a, a small little thing to really uh, sell the point that, hey, I'm not going to put this on my resume per se, but when a recruiter comes to my LinkedIn or an employer looks at my LinkedIn and they're trying to see more about me, they go, hey, I saw his resume. It's worth checking out his LinkedIn. They see these additional things that showcase, you know what, We're actually, this guy actually really seems to like code because that's what they're looking to hire. They're looking to hire someone who's eager and, look, and enjoys it and is continuing to learn because that's what you look for in a junior developer. Um, and if you have any honors and awards, go ahead and put that in here. But this project section. Now, I'm guilty of not putting a great project in here as well. But I can tell you, <coughs> excuse me, that when I was <coughs> when I was having my phone interview, I talked about my hackathon that I went to. Include all your hackathons in your project section. And definitely put that on your resume in your project section as well. It shows a couple things. One, it shows that you're interested in coding and challenging yourself. Two, it shows that you can work with a team. And three, it shows that you are really, 
really interested in the community and that is good because people they want to hire someone who's eager who can work with people and likes what they do there's plenty of people out there that may want to just take a paycheck and not really be committed that's not that they're looking for a junior developer they're looking for somebody eager who enjoys it and they can groom to work their way up to a senior developer spot and stay with the company and things like hackathons to show hey I, you know i'm actually jumping around i enjoy this it's not like i just took two months and called it a day these are projects where you can do it and all your free code camp projects or any other projects call it pro projects boot camp projects this is where you need to put it describe the project go into detail about what technologies you use uh, you can see right here, I use HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, Esri API, YouTube API. I put Bootstrap twice there. I just realized I got to change that. Uh, JavaScript, Git, jQuery. That's what I used because that's what I knew. I didn't know Angular or anything. But it was more about me going to the hackathon, showcasing that I understood Ajax calls than anything else. Now, definitely put all this on your resume. These are kind of the little things that you can do when you don't have any resume experience. That's kind of my two cents. I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you take advantage of these things if you knew how to do it or didn't know. And if you don't have a LinkedIn, you are really shooting yourself in the foot. Get it together and get yourself a LinkedIn. Um, it's just the way of the world now, guys. But as always, thank you for watching. If you're interested in joining our coding group, it's it's in the description below. It's called Code Tech and Caffeine. And if you want to support me, patreon.com slash codingtutorials360. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding bootcamp check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and support me on patreon i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching